Taurus, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon Tarot. Follow and like for a daily pick a card and card of the day. Taurus, Island Time Wellness for your Oracle message and Everyday Witch for your tarot reading. There is no gender in tarot. This could happen to you already. This could be happening to you now or in the future. I could be pulling on your sun sign of Taurus, your moon or rising, or cross watcher energy. If none of it resonates, that's okay. It's just not your reading, and I'm fine with that. You can say it doesn't resonate. Come back next time. If it does resonate, give me a thumbs up. It keeps me in the algorithm. Let me know how it resonates. I like to know if it, if it does. The feedback lets me know that I'm hitting the mark. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a black, has a block, I was going to say has a black restraint, has a block restraint, has a block, they have a block and there's a restraint. Okay, this person has a block, an entity, some type of an entity, restraint, they've got addictions, they're codependent, they're, uh, obsession, obsession is not love, it strokes your ego, but it isn't love not love love okay controlling and possession being someone's possession well apparently your person doesn't want me telling you this huh no I was just a sloppy shuffler being someone's possession and having them be controlling that's like I'm gonna take the Taurus collective and I'm going to put them on a shelf and when I want them, I will come and I will get them. Meanwhile, when I don't want them, they have to stay on the shelf and I'm going to go do whatever I want to do. But I'll come and get them often because I'm codependent and I have all of my issues that I'm going to bring with me. And if you're not on the shelf, they're going to need to know where you are and who you're with and what you're doing. And if they don't, that's going to be an issue if they're not checking out your Facebook or driving past your house. Mm, yeah, you got a problem. This problem is uh, this problem is a stalker. This is this is this is a problem. Has a block, so they probably have they're probably emotionally dysfunctional. Restraint, restraint, restraint. Um, restraining order. Whatever this is, this isn't good. Let's get into it. Summit Masters, Archangels, Holy Spirit, Guides, please give a collective of Taurus placements. Summit Masters, Archangels, Holy Spirit, Guides, please give a collective of Taurus out a couple of cards before I start telling you what I see. No major arcana yet. Got earth energy, air energy, water energy, water energy again. Oh wait, what am I doing? Somebody may not think that they have enough. They may not. They may have a very low self-esteem. They don't feel that they have enough to give you, or maybe you don't have enough. Maybe you're not in the financial echelon of where they think their partner needs to be. But I don't think that's it. I think hmm. we'll read it that way first. We might have to clarify that. 
they may feel that you don't have enough whether whether it is finances because it's pentacles or cachet you know clout maybe they maybe they like to rub shoulders with uh, movers and shakers this person is not a mover and shaker this person wants to let you think that they're a mover and shaker this person is lazy piece of shit okay they may start something but they don't finish something they may be all gung-ho about I'm gonna do big things doesn't materialize so they may feel that you are not at their level financially or you don't have enough clout or something like that so they did the most they did the most to you whatever the most is to you cheated on you stole your money had sex with you, spread your name all around town, whatever it is that you think the most is. We're going we're gonna to change it. So this is just one way. They don't feel that they owe you an apology for what they've done. Gossiped. Told you what you wanted to hear. They have loose lips about what they do. They don't tell you how they feel. They have emotional dysfunction. Their heart is closed off. Their heart is a void. Okay, there's nothing. That's It's closed. You're not getting in there. Their throat is a void. They don't tell you the truth of how they feel, if they have feelings. They are very tight with their money. Third-party situations. They definitely, they, they don't want to be a team player with you. They are definitely third-party situations. Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. They are, they, you're not. Mm -mm. This is reversed. They're not seeing you. I do not think that they think you are. I don't want to say that they don't think you're good enough, but this is what... Let's get out the last card. Yeah, they're not going to move forward. This person is a piece of work. Now, we could do it. There could be another story. They don't feel they're good enough that they don't have enough to offer you. You could have walked away. Or they walked away, leaving you with ten swords in your back because they have very low self-esteem. However this is, with making a very small offer or they, their low self-esteem or they don't think that you have the clout that they need to get them ahead in life, they don't have good self-esteem. Either way, they do, their self-esteem is in the toilet. There's no apology. They're not offering an apology. There's been gossip. There's been gossip about the two of you, whether it's gossip around between friends, in the community, their friends, your friends, something. There has been gossip about you that has not been shut down. If you're together, if you're not together, if you've just broken up, if you've broken up and coming back together, there's been gossip that has not been shut down. This person has not said, hey, don't talk about my Taurus Collective that way. They're not like that. No, there has been gossip and that has not been shut down. They are very, they are very small with their money. They, they like to flex, like they have it going on, but when it comes to it, they're very cheap in their in their in their personal life in their in their daily they don't um if they can buy something for a nickel instead of a dime they're there even if they have to drive an extra mile to do it they they don't they don't like to spend their money
And there's definitely third party energy. They're not a team player. They were involved with third party energy. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's that's pre Empress energy, but this is reversed. They're not seeing you as a pre Empress. Pre Empress is somebody that has it going on, is living a life of luxury. So I don't know why they're not seeing you having this. You have choices. You don't have to you don't have to pick this person. This mean this would mean you have choices to be with who you want to be with or with no one because you don't need anybody. You are sufficient to, unto yourself. Financially, emotionally, you're you've got it going on. You're great single. And then we have three of wands reversed. This is not moving forward. Very defensive. This person's very defensive. And obsessive. There's addictions going on here. Well, we already know that. We have an addiction card came out. The devil. This is obsessive. Obsessive thoughts. Bondage. Even if you're not with this person, you can, ha you can have that etheric tie. If you know what I mean. You still feel their energy in your energy. Judgment is reconciliation. Bringing things back from the dead. I don't know that... I don't know that they want to do this. I mean, they're obsessed. There is an obsession. I don't understand it. They just, they want to control you. I think... This isn't the cards. This is what I feel with, with the cards, but this is what I feel. I don't think that they feel that you're not good enough. What I think that they want to do is to have you, to devalue you. They know what your worth is, but they want to have you, to devalue you, to make you be less because their self-esteem is so low, they can't have you be the queen of pentacles. Um, I mean, pre-empress energy, I'm sorry. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, you you just have to get one more pentacle. That's a ten of pentacles. That's the pinnacle. You've reached the top. They know that you're this. They can't have you be this. You have to be devalued. So they have to do the most. They're not going to offer an apology for doing the most. They're not. If there's gossip about you, they probably possibly started it or they will not stop it and if this is you this is someone that's supposed to care about you they need to have your back when they're with you and when they're not with you that's just respect holding back their emotions tunnel vision and speaking on how they feel about you that is not love they're their obsession they have you are a possession you are my selenite this is my possession i control what i do with this that's what they want. They want to be your Svengali. If I said that right. My fair lady. Eliza Doolittle. They want to be the professor and they want you to be Eliza Doolittle. They want to be able to take you and put you down here and that's where you're going to stay until they tell you to jump and you're going to say how high and then they're going to put you down here. Meanwhile, they're going to have their third party situations because they can. And you can say nothing about it because they need to devalue you, devalue you to make them feel big. That's how I feel about it. And that's why they have addictions, obsessions, codependency. That's why they feel small. But their self-esteem their self is 
from way back. They want you to feel small. You didn't make them feel small. Something else has made this person feel that they're not good enough. And that's a them problem. That's not a you problem. So they can devalue someone else and you take back control of yourself and move yourself somewhere else. Take the trash out and you don't need to revive anything, reconcile anything, bring back from the dead anything. You don't have to do that. You have enough self-respect that it's a no. When you take the trash out, you don't keep going back to the curb and visiting that trash. That trash is out there to be picked up. I don't go out and visit my trash. It's there. I don't slum. You don't slum. All right, Taurus, this is your reading. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot. Follow and like for a daily pick-a-card and a card of the day.